Hi everyone and welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf and today I want to discuss alignment. So alignment is really critical obviously it's how we aim this is a target game um, but I think more importantly that especially when we're practicing we need to be able to take our practice out on the golf course. I can't tell you how many times I've heard I hit it really good on the range and I get out on the golf course uh, and it's like I've never played golf before. Well you you have to make your practice similar to how you take it out onto the golf course so when you get out there it's it's not so foreign because the golf course does not look like this so you so I would highly highly suggest that anytime you practice you have some kind of work area or some kind of alignment aid um, you know one of the things that you know I respect most about Jack Nicholas is even when he practiced he said he never hit a shot unless he had an intended target both intended target and intended ball flight um, and I think that we can learn a lot from that because if we don't have a, a target, then we really don't know what the ball's doing if we're just trying to hit it, hit it good. I mean, we, we can hit it good and hit it, and it feels good, and we can hit it 30 yards offline. So the other thing about alignment is that it never looks correct. So on our alignment, on our alignment line or target line, we have a few things. We have the face of the club. We have the golf ball, our intermediate target or targets, and then finally the final destination or our target. So that is not, I, I did not say my body at all. So you do not line up with your body. Your body is parallel left for right handers, right for, for lefties, um, but it's parallel left. So my hips, my shoulders, my feet can be staggered a little bit, but my hips and shoulders and eye line need to be parallel left of this line. So you can see that it's very easy to look down this line. I can, I can very easily line this face of this golf club to this ball, to this alignment, and now I know I'm going towards the target. But as the, as the target gets further away, 100, 200, even 300 yards away, this line becomes more narrow, more narrow, more narrow. So we have to, we have to be able to work around this space to help us get a line correctly. So the first thing I would do, how do you line these sticks on the ground? Well, what I do is I stand behind the, stand behind the ball and I take my club and I go, I, I make it vertical. So the, the ball and my target line and my final destination target are all on the same line. So I close my non-dominant eye and I stand behind it and I make, make a line all the way to the target. So now I know exactly where that's going. Here's why you, you go to a tour event and you always see sticks or a, or a collegiate or people that are, are very talented and, and good at this game is that this will never look right, so we need to get used to having these lines on the ground. Because even if I take my setup and down the line, now that's looking pretty good because I have these alignment aids. But once I get out on the golf course, it could look like a whole different picture. So it's A, we need to start behind the ball and pick out an intermediate target. B, it's how I use my eyes. It's just like I putt. So, if I were to putt, if I set this ball up to putt and I'm just going down this line, my eyes are working this way. Okay, so my eyes are working down the target line, like down the barrel of a gun. Okay, now when I do that, I really feel like I can get focused in on the target and it's more tunnel vision. The minute I do this and take my head and go up, I see the hazard on the left and the out of bounds on the right. So. Not only is that giving me false information, the other thing that it's doing is it's, it's, it's bringing where I don't want to hit the ball into play. So make sure that you're using your eyes correctly. So we've got starting behind the ball, pick out our intermediate target, starting to use your eyes correctly, and lastly, how you set up to the ball. So people that aim, mostly righties aim to the right. We're always aiming out, out to the right, lefties aim to the left because of how you approach the ball. You never want to get in front of the ball before you place the face of the club down. This, 
I can't tell you how much this will help you. It'll make you feel a lot more comfortable, especially when you get behind the ball as well. So if I take my grip, okay, I've got my line. I'm starting to use my eyes this way. So it's just like I'm putting. I don't want to go left of this golf ball. So from face on, when I'm, when I'm going, if the target was down here, I'm starting to look this way before I walk into it. I don't want to get in front of my ball because it's too easy to step up this way and get right of my target very easily. So again, I've got my alignment, get my grip here. I'm to the right of my ball. Okay, now I start to have a picture of what's going to happen. So now I can start to start to feel. I know I want to hit this from the inside because of because the the shape of the swing is a tilted circle. So it comes slightly from the inside impact and then exits to the left. Okay? If I line up to the right, there's there's no way I'm going to swing like that. And we'll get get into that into a another video as, as well, but that's why no one compresses the ball. They line up way to the right and compressing the ball is this. This is what impact looks like. Right here. See my right arm is right on the back of the shaft. That's what compressing the ball is. This arm is compressing and pressing on the back of this shaft. If I line up to the right and do that, I'm going to be 30 yards left. So what do I have to do? My right arm has got to get real high and I'm twisting my body trying to get the face of the club into a position where it's going to go to my target. So all of a sudden bad alignment is going to start costing you swing, swing mechanics that you don't want. So I'm telling you this is worth it as much as much as it, it pains some people, for the first time when they get on these alignment sticks, the truth is going to come out. The golf ball, if you line up to this ball, it will tell you the truth on what's happening. Now we can start to work on the swing. Now we can start to see you know, what's going on with your swing. So again, once we get lined correctly, now we start to see kind of the shaping of the shot. So, so again, now it starts to see, okay, I got to get behind this ball. I've got to have, I've got to get behind it enough this way so my arms can swing down and get into my impact position. And as I keep going, it starts to exit left. So now I'm creating a picture. Here's what happens when we look out at the target, our eyes perceive it and our mind starts to develop what we need to feel and what we need, it starts to create a picture in our mind for our bodies react to react to. So our eyes perceive it, it gets into our mind, we start to create this picture and now we have a picture for our body to react to. And it better be the right picture. So all of a sudden I get my grip here, I get aligned here, I'm to the, I'm to the right of the ball, now I step in. Okay, now I can start to start to feel that I've got, I can start to feel the motion that I want my swing because I want to get right on the back of the ball and from the inside here. So make sure that you're aligned correctly. Make sure that you're, you've got a station so you, you know what's going on as far as how you line up to it, how you approach it. The golf ball is going to give you some truth finally. Now we can start to begin to work on your swing, but more importantly when you go out on the golf course, it's not going to be so foreign. You, it, it looks the same as this. It's a target game. We're setting up to a target. We're advancing our ball to the target. And I hope this helps and, and it makes your game and you can take it onto the course and get those scores down. Hi everyone, like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf, for all tips on golf. If you'd like a live lesson or want to send me a message, visit me at billyfitzgeraldgolf.com.